months, a couple months before me. Okay. So. Okay, it's six o'clock. <laughs> All right, it's six o'clock. Uh, call to order the Board of Health meeting for Monday, December 11th, 2023. All board members are present, as are all department members. Um, the first item on our agenda for this evening is a variance for 34 William Street uh, per 310 CMR 15.405 in Chapter 350-6 of the Eastern Board of Health Regulations to allow a reduction in the number of required soil observation holes per test from two to one. Uh, Jason Youngquist is the engineer for the project. He's not here yet. Uh, maybe we could table it to the end. And I mean, oh, not to waste time, but yeah. it's William Street. Of course you have to allow less holes. There's no room. Well, I brought the file in case you wanted to see. No, there's no. The, the, I looked on Reynolds. Like, I'll make a motion to approve that right now. There's, there's no. <laughs> We have big holes. I'm surprised they can do one per well, test. Well, the, the size of the area we were digging in is the size of this room. Yeah. And there is an electric well, line, the old cesspool, and a water yeah. line. And There's so no, that, be able to that's tighter on William Street than it was where I was on, on route. I'm motion to well, give the variance. In that neighbor, how do they Williams. typically perk, though? I mean, is it? The, I'll tell you the perk results. So, um, the, and the reason it, it, for the two two actual test test holes is Title Five, but the two, second perk is just in Easton. We my first week here, I had a five and a fifty nine in the uh, same yard, so it got a two minute an inch perk rate. So it was very good material. Because some of that area is bony, isn't it? You get up it was bony. Street, Baldwin Street, and that's very bony in there. Yeah, yeah. it's always yeah, bony. My, it's just my yard was, but I'm rocks and sand. The motion to approve the variance for 34 William Street. Seconded. Any issues that you see? I, I, I witnessed it, and I'm like, "What about here?" He's like, "That's there." There's no room. That there, and I go, "He's like, and we can't dig in that driveway because it's an easement to their house, and <laughs> you know, so it's a tough." But you do an anticipate based on the soils. <laughs> No, they're going to have to move water lines and electric lines and everything else. But it is a requirement of our local regulation for two holes and two parks. That's why I came in front of you. And how often, just, you know, thinking, this is my first, how often do we waive that second hole? Is it typically in the village where it's very tight? Yeah, yeah right? we had it's one on the Seven Sisters on Elm Street that happened to once. So, and that was speech sand as yeah, well. Yeah, it's it doesn't it happens very infrequently that mm, we don't have that, yeah. the ability to get the second set in. Um, the other thing is, it, just as a matter of confidence and whatnot, when um, the system is being constructed, there's an open hole inspection that either Mark or Tim will go out and see, and if they notice something that doesn't look consistent with what they saw in the profile for the perk test, they could ask for a they could stop the job and ask for a perk test to be done in the material. Table. So we have a guardrail, so to speak. Yeah, mm -hmm. we basically yeah, can throw a guardrail up if we need to. I don't, I know the house really well. It's Pyrie's house. 30, yeah. 34, well, I'm trying to picture which one's 34. It's next to the... Um, okay, yeah, I know, I know. I mean, <clears throat> God love the engineer who's got to design the system for that. It's like the one we did on the Masonic Temple, you know? It, it, the Masonic Temple has more, more land. <laughs> but more land. kidding. Yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah. Yeah. How do you not approve it? I didn't think they, the mix, <laughs> I didn't think that temple had any I was in it when it was in the Sonic Hall and I did the soil test on that <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Doesn't it like wrap around the building, the system? Mm -hmm. when it, yeah. Um, so there's a motion. I'll second that motion. Great. All those in favor of Zayas, yes. Those, yes. Me and yes. Eight. That was a real nail biter. <laughs> Uh, second item on the agenda for this evening is approval of the 2024 Board of Health meeting schedule, um, all starting at 6 p.m. I looked at it. I didn't have any conflicts. Motion to approve the schedule, the 2024 Board of Health meeting at 6 p.m. I'll second. All those in favor? Sias, yes. <laughs> Mills, yes. Me and yes. Right, great. Uh, next on the agenda, we have a betterment for 52 Kevin's Way. Yes. So um, 
again, the neighborhood, all the houses are starting to fail in there. Um, they're looking for a loan of thirty thousand. They're in good standing with the town for their bills. Um, actually, the system already is in the ground. It got finished last week. So, how old is that complex down there now? It's going to be twenty, thirty years. Ninety-four. Four. Yeah. So the design was from ninety-four for the original system, and it went in in ninety-five. So they were grandfathered in by using the perp data from ninety-three, ninety-four. But basically, everybody in there has what three flow diffusers? Yeah, and they're much. deep. And there's a, a number of, of failures in there now? A lot of them were designed under the old way that we did yeah. soil testing, which changed in 95 and 96, and we do the profiles. We all had to go to school. But because of the timing, they were under that old way of doing things. Okay. So um, they were grandfathered, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's like two or three in there for a year. You know, the one across the street was just done a month ago. So, yeah, some of them are duplexes, too. Yeah. Wow, that's a shame. So, but that's 26 eight. years. Is a good run. Yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. why I was asking the year. I remember that going in there. Okay. I don't want to Motion to approve the betterment for 52 Kevin's way. Awesome. <laughs> All those in favor, Zeiss, yes. Mills, yes. Me, and yes. Um, great. Next on the agenda, acceptance of minutes for our meeting on October 10th, 2023. Motion to accept the minutes of October 10th, 2023. Second. All those in favor, Zayas yes. Mills yes. Me and yes. Any staff or member notes? Yeah, I have a couple of things I just wanted to tell the board about. Um, well, this well, meeting's really taking a long time, so... Well, well, it's time to drag it up to at least 15 minutes. Um, so some um, efforts that we have coming up this week with our community paramedicine group, um, we will be hosting a flu clinic on Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m. at Frothingham Hall. That is for anyone six years old and older. Um, it's all single dose um, flu vaccine, so no preservatives. Um, that people can register. The word, there's a mistake on the Facebook post saying you must pre-register. It's helpful if you pre-register. Um, but as long as we have vaccine available, we will take walk-ins. Um, that's the registration link for that is on the color platform that we've been using for all of our vaccine programs since COVID. The and so that's this Wednesday. I'm sorry. Yep. At what time? Uh, from four to six p.m. Four to six. Excellent. I will say the flu is vicious this year. We've been seeing a lot on the ambulance that COVID's back with a vengeance too. But and the RSV too. Yeah, it and the RSV's hitting. Adults, yeah, uh, it's it went through my house. but the, the flus. Uh, this flu that's going around this year is debilitating people like healthy dudes. Uh, the hope is by this schedule, um, it, it takes about almost two weeks for an individual to build up enough antibodies in their body to effectively completely ward off getting the flu. If we can get the flu vaccine into people this week, that means as we approach the holidays and everybody's mixing, hopefully people will have immunity, even if it's not 100%. It oftentimes, for a lot of people, can be the difference between being sick on the couch for a couple of days versus riding with Chris in an ambulance to a hospital. The other thing we that's nobody that wants. Yeah. No, nobody wants that. <laughs> Um, the other thing that's going on Wednesday night is, again, a partnership with our community paramedicine and our department is a Narcan training that will be happening at Oliver Ames from 6 to 7 p.m. It's limited, I think, to 15 people, and the registration for that is through RecDesk, which is the platform that our um, community engagement and programming section uses and can be found on our website as well. Do we know how many people are participating yet? Or are we just waiting to see who shows up for that? No, they have to, that's a pre-registration. Okay. And how does that look right now? I have not checked the numbers today. Uh, I know it's not full, mm. uh, but I have not checked the numbers. And are we communicating? With, there must be a local, and I'm not sure, because I uh, thank God I don't need it, but uh, Al Anon or any of those others, are we communicating with yeah, those, so with, those with the parent groups and stuff? Liaison has a very good rapport with a lot of the groups. Um, Learn to Cope. Um, mm -hmm. There's another group that meets at Quesit House um, every other every other week. I don't want. I can't remember now if it's Tuesday or Thursdays. Um, but yes, she's communicated that out through there. It's going out. It's on Facebook um, through our department. It is up on our Rec Desk platform brochure 
Um, so if you have suggestions of anywhere else, I'm not sure if it was in the town prior. Um, last Friday, I would have to check mm -hmm. it out. But I don't have any suggestions. suggestions, I'm just curious to get no, out to. but again, get, yeah, we would take yeah. suggestions if there's anywhere <clears throat> that we're missing. That is one of our biggest challenges, is getting it out to everywhere we can possibly get it to. So, I mean, everybody thinks it's Easton, but Easton needs it just like any other community. Okay. It's any of our stuff, the yeah. flu shots, the, you know, any of our programming. Facebook hits a certain population, the town website hits a population, the town crier hits. So if we miss something, um, we don't take offense if anybody says, hey, could you send it here or there? Just wait. There wasn't like a community bulletin boards like at CVS's. Mm. Because there's so many people going there to pick up some box on and things like that, it, it's. <clears throat> I just think of the parent groups more than anything. Yeah. That the parent groups get into this and understand it and get the training. But that's a good, that's an easy email. We can reach out through the PTOs and see whether or not um, they know about it yet. Hopefully, yeah, could yeah, if we could, that would be mm -hmm. I think worthwhile. <clears throat> Yep, and anybody thinks of anything at 2 a.m. when they can't sleep, just shoot me an email. You don't want a phone call? No, I prefer not. <laughs> but actually, that would get you nowhere anyway. Um, 2 a.m., the phone's downstairs. <laughs> That's it for my staff notes. Excellent. Anyone else have anything? I do. Uh, a couple, I just want to follow up. Uh, regarding all the complaints that we had regarding the septic backups at the police and fire complex, have we followed up on that? Have we looked into those to see what's going on with those? So there, all of our systems are aging yes. very badly. Um, we had one this this week. The bathrooms so here. Were, last this, week, the bathrooms were down here. Yeah, all new pipe. Um, it's people putting wipes um, down it. Um, that we put signage in all the bathrooms, but um, yeah, they've been here at least. Six times. There was one day last week that the bathrooms were down in this building. Right, but my concern up there is that they're living there. They're there 24-7, 365. Sure. That's my concern there. <clears throat> is there a chance we can get one or both of the inspectors up there to look and see what's going on, what the root cause is, what we can do to prevent that? Because my understanding is this new building's not in line for three more years. It, it will not be occupied. So I would, be, I would like to know the root cause and what, if anything, has been done to mitigate it. And if nothing, then what do we have to do to mitigate it? We can take care if, of that. If that, if that would be DPW an option. He was usually very responsive and has a company, because it's happened at Frothingham as well, yeah. has a company online that is coming in and able to snake the lines pretty quickly. And I think right. that's predominantly the problem we're having in all of the buildings, is things going down the drain that don't belong going down the drain. They're one of the part of the issue here was the pitch on the pipe. And now that everything's been switched over to low flow toilets and mm -hmm. things like that, and even you know, with designs and thinking that you're gonna do a lot of showering and a lot of laundry at some of these facilities, if there isn't enough, even our washing machines are low water now, if there isn't enough of that to push the solids along, mm -hmm. you need better slope. Or, and some of these pipes have settled because of their age and whatnot. But we can get a little more information from the DPW. Yeah, I'd like to know what's going on because, like I said, they're, they're occupied 24-7. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it seemed like it was a little bit egregious what was going on there. I so I want to know... had an issue since right before town meeting was probably the last one. The last one. Yeah, but that actually was only, what, a month ago? Yeah, and what, <coughs> do you know what we did to mitigate that? What, um, no, I don't. I mean, did we increase the pumping? Have we sent a company up there? What no, because that, that goes to the treatment plant. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a... I think I, it's a like long time long clock. Clock. Yeah, yeah, it's a plumbing issue. It's more foreign objects that yeah. shouldn't, like gloves, towels, you know, things that shouldn't go down the drain. So we have to educate the fire department? Well, that's a combined <laughs> building as well. <laughs> <It's> so... <laughs> But we no, can't. They're like, well, this here, it's like, I can't get over how many times wipes are in there, wipes are in there. Yeah. Like, we don't even have any. People almost have right. them in their desk, they go in and just. Yeah. Yeah, and we also do have a number, you know, we're open to the public more so than one of those facilities is, I would think. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, That's why I'm just curious. Because three to years it. is a long time, so I just want to yeah. know if, yep. there's, if there's going to be an issue up there or if there's something we got to do. Because that's, that's combined too with the, the holding cells. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. 
you know, there could be some malicious intent with things being put down those drains that then affect They everybody. shouldn't be getting in the cells with anything. Yeah, so it should be a, the only thing should be in there is toilet paper. Yeah, they shouldn't really be getting into the cells with anything, so. Mm -hmm. We can look into it and try to get a better answer and make sure that there is a, um, a proactive, if at all possible, yeah, proactive Yeah, just get back to us, that'd be great, thank you. Those are the only, that's all I had. I know here one of the fixes did have to do with, we determined when they were putting in the new septic system, that the bathroom, which actually isn't in use anymore, but right by the stairs, went down and then had a drop, like a, a literal two foot drop that was basically depositing solids. And because of the low flow in that toilet, that's what was catching even the toilet paper mm. and not allowing it to. So when they're finally done, that toilet the pump, they're going to get rid of that big step and just make it a nice big long whoosh, okay. up, is the plan. Thank you. All right. Anyone have anything? All right. I uh, will call the meeting adjournment for Monday, December 11th at 6.16 p.m. All those in favor? All those in favor. <laughs> Zayas, yes? Bills, yes. Me and yes. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.